Okay, so I'm going to be making a recipe, or making, um, yeah, well, following a recipe, making baked penne pasta with, nope, never mind, whoop, sorry, curveball, not that one, hold on, wrong page, I should really work these things out before I do shooting, I uh, will be making chili with green, oh wait, chili, with green chili, cornbread, and um, this is the picture, this is how it should look. I'm not going to do the cornbread, so scratch that out because cornbread sounds hard. Okay, maybe I will. I don't know. I guess I'll write down these ingredients. And finally make something for cooking with Alex. Alright, well I'm leaving club pub, and by club I don't mean a club, and by pub I mean Publix. Um, so yeah, I just saved uh, $15 on my groceries. So that's unimpressive. I guess, it's, you know, I mean, you know, $15 I saved but um yeah i think i can do better i i need to get into uh couponing uh, shannon's mom is really into it she used to like you know have the grocery stores and things owe her money by the end of her grocery <laughs> day welcome to cooking with alex i will be uh making oh i'm being texted right now oh. i will be making chili okay I'm gonna, I've been thawing my hamburger meat. I'm gonna be using this recipe from the book College Cooking, Feed Yourself and Your Friends. I'll be doing my best to try to follow these instructions. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right, step number one, I need to peel an onion and then place the onion and ground beef into a large stock pot. I've got my onion, I'm gonna peel it and um, Throw it on the cooking machine. Alright, we got to peel this onion. Um, I don't know how much I need to peel it. I guess I just enough. Alright, go ahead and put the onions in here. Alright, I'm going to toss this cube of meat. Whoop! Alright, <laughs> almost spilled everywhere. Oh, yes. Look at all that greatness. Oh, and number one rule in cooking, or at least in the top 20, is don't snack while you cook. Because I really want to snack because I'm hungry and this is smelling good already. Even though I haven't really cooked anything, just the onions and everything. Oh, and just hear that noise. Okay, and if you're a Latino, you know about adobo. We put it on everything and we put a crap ton of it on. Let's see if I can freaking get this open with one hand. Oh, yes, I can. Crap off of here. Get off. You put a crap ton of it on there. They're just like, oh yeah. Put that all over that. Adobo just makes things so much better. It's like a garlic salt or whatever. Oh yes, look at all that goodness. The meat's starting to brown. Smelling nice. Okay, and for this recipe, I needed three cans of diced tomatoes and two cans of red kidney beans. So I got the conchita, because it's in the ethnic section, and cheaper than the red kidney beans in the non-ethnic section. So you can get a deal by going to the ethnic section. Works out every time. All right, so I'm adding all these ingredients, and it said specifically not to strain it. Um, okay, so after adding in all that stuff, all the beans and tomatoes, you need three cups of water, and I believe it is a third a cup of chili powder. So since I am too cheap to go get a uh, measuring cup, I just use mason jars. They have like the little increments here on the thing and that says three cups, I don't know if you can see it. So I just use that and then for my uh, dry measurements I use um, my little rice measuring cup that came with the rice cooker. Curveball. I actually have a third a cup measuring cup spoon thing. So I'm going to be flipping that thing over and putting all the chili powder. Glub, glub, glub. Alright, well I'm going to let that concoction cook for 10 minutes. So I guess everything can mix. And then I add the best part, the macaroni. It's only 8 ounces. So not much macaroni, but I really don't have much room in my pot. Hopefully it doesn't overflow, but this thing 
This thing has to boil, and then I can finally add all this crap. Okay, you can take this little tip from me, but this is a, a tip of the pros of cooking. Get yourself a nice bottle of Louisiana hot sauce. One that you can kind of grip, possibly when it's done, like a mallet or something, all right? Get yourself one of these. It's, um, I got it for actually like two bucks at Winn-Dixie. What a steal. That might be a little spicy, but not bad. It'll be a good kick. I put a lot of hot sauces and garlic powder, so there's going to be a lot of competing flavors. Um, make sure you grip your special like you don't know what you're doing. It kind of it makes the food taste better. Once your chili's at a nice boil, go ahead and pour some of that macaroni on in there. I feel like that needs more macaroni. That was so wimpy. But it, the recipe called for eight ounces. Don't forget to stay hydrated or else you'll die. It's all done. Like a dragon spitting it all out. All right, cut the heat. Let's move this sucker over to one of these. You can shut up. Okay, I'm done with my chili. Here it is, I got my bowl. So I'm gonna add a sprinkle, a little bit of this. Kinda top it off, almost like a garnish. Doodle Couple of those puppies. And look at all that leftover. I mean, I have that much. This is gonna last me a while, and it's gonna be delicious. And chili is one of those foods that just gets better while it sits. And I'll finish it, hopefully by this weekend, and then I'll make another um, dish, which was, um, Penne pasta with Italian sausage. But yeah, I'm going to devour this beautiful looking bowl of chili. Okay, well I'm going to try my first bite of this beautiful chili. Ugh, ugh, how hot. That is delicious. I don't need to add salt, anything. It's perfect. Tastes just like chili, but it has like a little bit of spice from the Louisiana hot sauce. And, um... And the Mexican chili hot sauce that I put on there. And the crackers. Mmm. I mean, chili connoisseurs would say that this is just an artistic expression of chili. Some would say that this is, um, I'm breaking down the walls of old chili fashion and stepping onto new grounds with this chili experiment of following the directions almost word for word. Well, this is just how I like to end my day. I like to watch Shannon's video, and um, he has kind of hang out, relax for the uh, last little bit before I go to bed. Um, maybe play some uh, Clash of Clans, upgrade my town hall and my walls and mortar systems and stuff. But uh, yeah, I hope you had a great day. I uh, hope you enjoyed my cooking special, and I will see you tomorrow.